Hi guys, today's video is going to be a haul. I have a massive haul as I went shopping. Sorry, I don't know if um, I was like in focus. You know. I have a massive haul because I've been shopping a lot recently. This is a haul of like the past few months, you could say, like the past few, three, two, three months. So that's why there's quite a lot of stuff. I've got my Starbucks here, but I have almost finished it. So yeah, it's a toffee macadamia latte, something like that. I finally have my ring light back so I can go back to making more videos and other videos like later on in the day. I've had this makeup on like all day so that might be why it looks a bit weird I've got my hair tied up because my hair is just the weirdest colors at the moment so yeah if you'd like to see what i've been buying recently then please carry on watching first thing i'm going to start off with is from h&m because i only have one thing from h&m that's these trousers i have this flango lip gloss on whenever you get it in your mouth it tastes disgusting it tastes like you're eating those nettles so these trousers i got them in a size six they're just like black linen trousers. They were $8.99 and I just thought they were really nice for the summer, nice for holidays. They've got pockets as well. I thought they'd be nice with like flip flops and my new shoes that I've got, which are Vans, which I'm gonna move on to. But yeah, I just thought they were really nice. Yeah, like I said, size six. They are quite see-through, like, I don't know if you can tell, but you can see like my hand through them. But I don't know if that's just because I have like my ring light on. I haven't tried them on yet, so in the try on clip, that will be my first time trying them on. They're really nice and I can't wait to wear them. The next thing I'm going to move on to is Primark because I've got quite a few things from Primark and people seem to love when I do Primark hauls, so I'm going to move on to that. So I've got two Primark bags. I've got a few of these things I've already worn. I'm going to show you through some of the accessories I got from Primark. So the first thing is this ear cuff. This was £1.50, you get like a little triangle one, because I'm really into earrings. You get this like zigzag one, it's really weird, like a spider. And then at the top you get like this little round one. I just thought this was super cute and I've always wanted like more ear piercings, but I don't really know what ones I'd have done. I don't know if this one here would hurt too much. I've heard that this one here, when you get it like pierced it pops i remember my cousin told me that once years ago when she got hers done i want more piercings but i don't know so yeah i got these and i thought they were really nice and i love like gold jewelry like or silver it doesn't really matter obviously these aren't actual real jewel what's it called real gold but still very nice then i got another ear cuff but i got a silver one this is this one's just like a long bar and then this has like a little pearl like thing and then it's just like this one i have tried this one on that's why it's a bit weird like a bit wonky again i thought they were nice and when i tried i tried this one like all of them on and then i realized that i think you're only i got lipstick on my too. you're only meant to wear like one at a time i think with this i don't think it, because my ear i always thought i had big ears but at least i put this on my ear and it took up my whole ear and i couldn't fit the last one like on so maybe you're meant to just wear one oh my god at a time i'm not actually sure then i got this choker from primark this was three pound but you actually get you get two this one is like a double one it has like this star and then it has like this lace one i bought it mainly for the lace one but i thought the other one was nice too yeah this was three pounds which was really good because when you go into say somewhere like top shop you you pay about 12 pounds just for one choker so i thought that was a bargain and i love like blue so i thought this would go really nice with like black it would even go quite nice with this t-shirt i'm wearing i have a jumper on by the way you can't actually see it but yeah i got these imitation septum jewelry these were two pound and i have actually tried this i will say but you can see i tried the one at the end this was really hard to get in. I'll try it on again so you can see. And I sort of just got it, like, just to, uh, thought it looked nice with, like, different makeup looks. But obviously it looks really weird because I have these earrings in. But I just thought, like, if you was on, like, a festival makeup look and just, like, to add a pop to your makeup, I thought it looked cute. But, like, if I didn't have these earrings in, I think it looks sort of sweet. But it's quite big. When you first put it in, it really hurts your nose. Oh, my God, I just dropped that on my back. So yeah i have worn a few of these like two pairs of these the other two pairs are just a little bit larger but these were a pound for a five pack of earrings i wish i got the silver ones as well because i love like 
either wearing silver or gold like i love these these were from forever 21 when i was in america like they're absolutely no they were from h&m actually they're absolutely massive but i love like big hoops i've never really liked my ears but like i love wearing hoops because i feel like then people are looking at the hoops and not at my ears but anyway i thought it was nice because it goes like from the little to the biggest ones and they were a pound and i thought that was a bargain if you're one of those people that can't wear like fake jewelry like fake metal then i wouldn't buy these because they'll make your ears go funny color but luckily i can sort of get away with it so that's why i got them when i went into Primark, basically i hadn't been in there for ages so i sort of went a bit crazy this is like two trips of going there i just remembered another bit of jewelry i got were these earrings one second i've got to do some diy okay i got these earrings because i've seen quite a few people wear earrings like this and to i'm a bit disappointed i know they're only two pounds but the other earrings i've got from primark i've never done this so this bit in the back had like all fallen out so i've just had to like mend it but hopefully they'll look okay on i just thought they were different and i thought they looked quite elegant but these are in rows and it says front back earring so yeah i got a usb charging cable for my car so i just leave that in my car instead of having to like piss about and take like all different usb iphone leads in my car and then i got something else as well i got an audio jack cable and yeah this was £1.50 basically the radio in my car i can't like plug it in like by usb it has to be by audio like a jack aux cable so this is why i got this and yeah £1.50 bargain then i got some candles from primark i got a straw strawberry daiquiri and that was 80p and then i got a pina colada because pina colada is like mine and my boyfriend's favorite whenever we go to america we always get like a pina colada like cocktail well he gets a cocktail but basically i'm still not old enough to drink in america so i normally get like a um mocktail for 80p they smell really good i'm moving through quickly because my camera's dying i got this get slippy matte collection matte liquid lipstick in chocolate brownie this was three pound and it basically looks exactly the same as the Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick. I've never tried them. They've never really interested me. But I thought that this looked really good. And I thought I could do a video on it. But I'm going to quickly run, th run, through, <laughs> run through the clothes I got. So I got this t-shirt from Primark. I've already worn this. This was I think £2. And it's just this really nice. You can all the fact I have makeup on it. It's this really nice striped t-shirt and I just love it to go like in jeans and just wear on a casual day. Then I got this maxi dress. I got the top and this dress in a size 4 because I'm very petite. I believe this maxi dress was like £6 but I wore it a couple of weeks ago when me and my boyfriend went out and it was really comfortable and it wasn't too see-through either. I then, because I love that maxi dress so much, the second time I went into Primark I got another one and this was £6. I got this in a size 4 for reference. Yeah, it's just this really nice grey but it's like a vest style i haven't worn this yet but i'm excited too then i got these shorts i love these shorts i would even wear these like out in the summer but they're pajama shorts i got them in an extra small and they were two pound fifty i thought they were really nice so yeah they're classed i think as a size four yeah they're a size four then i got this bikini top and i would have never bought one of these years ago but i thought this would be nice when you're on holiday and you're sunbathing it has got the tiniest little bit of padding in. It was £4 and I got it in a size 6. But I thought it was actually really elegant how it has like these little rose gold things on it. And yeah, I thought this would actually go quite sweet with the shorts if you were just sunbathing. If you get my drift. I got that. And I think I saw it from Primark. I got quite a few like accessory bits instead of like clothes. The next thing I got was from New Look and I got this little choker that's like all colours. It's like a rainbow. This was two forty nine. I haven't worn this yet, but I wanted to get it to wear with like black t-shirts, like what I'm wearing today. I just thought it would make it look really cool and colourful, and I thought it'd be nice for the summer and sort of like festival season. I'm getting really hot. Yeah, I just thought that was really nice. I also got a handbag from New Look. My handbag's in there, and I can't be bothered to go get it. It's a watermelon one. It cost me four pound, and I got it at the time to just throw in the back of my car to like put stuff in. But then I actually am now using it as my handbag. The next thing I got, I went into Vans before I got my Vans, and I got this t-shirt. Now, as I said, I'm very petite, so I actually got this from the kids section. This was, like, for a little boy, because, <laughs> you know, I look like a little boy. And this was actually £13. I haven't tried it on yet, because I'm waiting to haul it. This was meant to be £20, but I got it for 13 and I thought it was really nice. 
like I love like grey especially with how my hair is at the moment like blonde I think it looks really nice I just love this I love like skater sort of like boyish things I don't know why I really mind if I look tomboyish but then as long as I've got like a lot of makeup on I don't care then I got to my vans they're in this box I will insert a clip of them I got the old school black old school ones I wore them today and they cut my ankle because every pair of shoes I ever get cuts my ankle so let's not talk about that the last place i went was zara and i went there today and yeah i'll just show you what i got from zara and then that's literally everything so if you know me you'll know that zara is my favorite shop and i love zara if i'm down i'll go to zara then i'll be really happy got my receipt there first thing i picked up this is from the traffaluck range this is like the cheaper sort of range got this little t-shirt and i thought this is really nice really sweet this was 5.99 and i got it in a small and it has like a navy trim to it like it's not black just thought this was really nice this is part of their spring and summer 2017 collection i think it's quite nice that it has like the year on it that would look really nice with this pair of trousers actually from h&m then i just got a plain black t-shirt because i love black and now my hair's blonde i feel like i can get away with wearing black a lot more whereas when my hair was black i felt like it looked a bit too much this is the kind of thing that would look cool with that choker i got for a new look like that that was 5.99 i got that in a small but i love zara's t-shirts like they're so comfortable and it's quite like baggy as well and then the last thing i got oh no it's not the last thing the last clothing item i got from zara was this black jumper and i have the gray one of this but it's a bit more like cropped this was 12.99 i got this in a small and again it's black but it has this like rough edging i don't know if you're able to tell like ripped sort of edging can you see i don't know 12.99 for a jumper i thought that was really good the sleeves on this one are very oversized on my other one they're very sort of like true to size and it does fit me quite like not tight but it does fit really nicely whereas this one i feel like it's going to be a bit more baggier a bit more like cozier so yeah that's why i got that one then the last thing i picked up from zara I picked up the zara gardenia gardenia eau de parfum and i got this is part of their leather collection actually i think this is the one that's like in the nice 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 packaging this was 7.99 the reason i picked this up was basically i had the roller version in my bag and i always keep it in my bag so then that way if i'm out and i want some perfume on i just roll that on oh yeah it is actually it's in the nice little leather packaging so that's really sweet i also have the white one as well i can't remember what it's called i think it's zara femme or something but their perfumes are so inexpensive and i love their perfumes I just found that their perfume smells so elegant and like this one's really nice and fresh. My mum loves the, uh, what's it called? Apple juice one or something. She got that in America and she loves that one. If anyone knows if Zara do like body washes or anything, then please let me know because my mum's birthday is coming up and she wants the like, she wants a body wash of it or like a cream or something. So if you know that Zara do them, please let me know. And then the last couple of things I just wanted you to throw in that I got the other day. I picked up the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask and this is the Super Hydrating Soothing Mask. I think this was 99p. I've had the other one before but I've never seen this one before. I tend to get very dry skin at the moment so yeah I picked this one up and then I picked up this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Water Gel and this is a moisturiser. I used it this morning for the first time and it's actually really nice and feels very hydrating so I'd recommend this. So yeah thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you like this haul. I hope that you're glad that I'm back on YouTube and let me know if you like this setup and yeah if you'd like more hauls give the video a thumbs up let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. So thank you so much for watching guys take care bye